everyone, I'm Seva and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be making my favorite strawberry and banana smoothie. But before we get into it, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss any more of my videos. Okay, let's get started. So, this isn't going to be the typical video. I'm not just going to make a smoothie and then leave you guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through each of the ingredients that I have here, which isn't that many, and I'm going to tell you all the different benefits there are to um, you and your body. So this recipe is very simple. Now you can change it up depending on maybe different berries that you want to add or different kind of yogurt or different kind of milk or whatever it is that you want. So for this recipe in particular, we're going to use chia seeds to just add some protein you don't have to do that i'm just using regular milk because i ran out of almond milk i'm gonna have some non-fat greek yogurt bananas and strawberries and i like to use frozen bananas and strawberries because i like the texture that it gives it's more of like a thick creamy smoothie as opposed to something that's watery so you're gonna use about a cup of strawberries just one banana um half a cup of yogurt a cup of milk and then just a tablespoon of chia seeds but like I said that's optional so you're gonna want to make sure that again your hair is up your hands are clean and I like to put my jewelry in a little dish and out of the way so I don't get anything on them so you might be wondering why is my banana all brown oh no it must be bad it must be mushy oh it's gonna be too sweet it's overripe no um, if you're leaving your bananas out and they get that way, then yeah, that's going to be very ripe and you might want to just make banana bread or something with them. But in this case, the reason it turns brown is because when I put it in the freezer, I just literally put it in there like that. So it just basically oxidizes. It just what, just what happens when um, air hits it in the freezer and all that kind of stuff. So it's not bad. It's not overripe. Nothing like that. In order to prevent this from happening, all you're going to want to do is um, put it in like an airtight bag in the freezer, cut them up, do the same thing, put it in the freezer, or you'd want to put it in the fridge in like a water bath, or you would need an acid, so maybe like a lemon juice, but I know that it's not bad and there's nothing wrong with it, so I don't mind if it's brown. The first item we have here is our cup of strawberries. Now. Um, you can use normal strawberries if you want that are just haven't been frozen. The flavors are still going to be there, but it's just not going to be as smooth. So if you have those, you can just plop those in the freezer or you can just buy them frozen. It doesn't really matter. So with strawberries, I have my little notes here. If you see me looking down, I just don't want to forget to tell you guys anything. But strawberries are very high in vitamin C, potassium, folic acid, fiber, and antioxidants, which is going to be very important during this quarantine. Those are all essential nutrients that you're going to want to have in your body regardless. So if you can get them from just something simple as strawberries that taste delicious and are really healthy, then why not? There are claims that they prevent heart disease, stroke, cancer, constipation, and diabetes. The reason they say it prevents heart disease is because of their high polyphenol content. They are natural anti-inflammatory, they're high in fiber, and with the potassium that's found in strawberries, which is also found in bananas, it tends to lower your blood pressure. So the high level of potassium offsets the sodium in your body and therefore does that. With stroke and cancer, the antioxidants that are found in the strawberries actually work against free radicals, but don't misconstrue what I'm saying. It doesn't mean if you have cancer, you're going to eat strawberries and it's a treatment or it's a cure. No, but it will reduce the risk of you getting cancer. As far as constipation goes, strawberries are very high in fiber and water content. So that's going to minimize constipation and add, or adding any bulk to the stool and it helps hydrate your body and just maintain regular bowel movements, which makes sense. You have more water, more fiber, that's what it does. So as far as diabetes, diabetes, um, again, the fiber um, is going to regulate the blood sugar and it acts as a stabilizer and it improves satiety. So therefore, if you feel more hungry, it's gonna reduce snacking. So 
even if you wanted to snack on these, it's definitely a healthier toy. So I'm just gonna plop those right into our blender here. This is literally my favorite smoothie. Next, we have our banana. Ooh, this is going to be a pain. I probably should have sliced this up before I put it in the freezer. Just going to make a couple slices. So, when it comes to bananas, they're known to aid in digestion, heart health, and weight loss. So. How does it do that? With digestion and heart health, as we talked about before with the strawberries, they're high in fiber and high in antioxidants. So I think there's a trend here with fruits and being healthy. Take note. As far as weight loss goes, bananas only have 105 calories. They are low in calories and they're nutrient dense. So what this means is they're gonna kind of make you full and even though there's high calories, calories you need for everyday life, for everything to be working properly. You need carbs, you need calories, everything to just keep you energized. That's what your body's working off of. So a banana is basically made of water and carbs. So carbs are going to help with your satiety, like I said, give you energy and everything that you're going to need throughout the day. Um, as I talked about earlier with a brown banana, so you just got to make sure the more ripe they are, the sweeter they're going to be and the more sugar is going to be produced in there. So you just want to make sure they're not too ripe because then you're just going to like spike up your sugar levels if you have any issue with maintaining um, glucose levels or you have diabetes or anything like that. You really want to like be careful with that. As far as exercise, it's a perfect snack. So they're very easily digestible carbs that are found in bananas and their mineral content is really good so you'll you're going to need your vitamins and minerals throughout the day regardless so why not get it all in like one nice easy smoothie um also bananas tend to help reduce any soreness or cramping so if you're exercising i'm not saying you're gonna have a banana and you're not going to be sore but it's definitely going to help um, and you want to make sure that you have good nutrition before, during, and after you exercise. So this is a good option for you. And as you can see, just like I was talking about before, even though it looks brown on the outside, our bananas are not nasty or brown or overripe. It's just the outside skin. So now I'm gonna add in the cup of milk. Now I'm not gonna to get too much into the milk today because that'll be a topic for another video because there are so many different milks that you can use. There's so many different milks on the market that are non-dairy, whatever, dairy-free, whatever you prefer to call it. So I'll make a whole video about that. But for today, I'm just using normal um, whole milk because that's all I have on me. Okay, so now, for the chia seeds so the chia seeds that i get come in a bag from bg's it's just a whole food store now <laughs> i'm just gonna bring the bag out here so you can see all the different claims that it has on there that'll be a topic for another video too i'm going to tell you all about the different claims and what you're allowed to put on labels what may be true what may not be true and all that kind of stuff but so these are organic chia seeds says it's a good source of calcium, omega-3s, fiber, and iron, which is all true. But the thing that makes me laugh is the gluten-free. So that'll be a topic for another video too. So um, everything about gluten is like a high topic, but it's just so funny because of course these are gluten-free. I remember um, me and my friend Carly, who I went to college with, were we were shopping and we were laughing because they even had stickers on bananas saying gluten-free and it's just like, yeah, obviously. If you know what gluten is, you know it can't possibly be in a banana. But anyway, I just thought that was funny. So so this all is true. Calcium, omega-3s, dietary fiber, iron, that's all a good source. But I like using the chia seeds also as a source of, oh, I'm about to open it, I already measured it out as a source of protein so I'm not somebody who like 
I'm not a vegetarian by any means, but I'm not somebody who is like so crazy about meat and I need protein, protein, protein from chicken and steaks and whatever. So sometimes I literally just like eating veggies or things like that and I'm not really in the mood to have like a whole meat along with it. So a lot of times I'll try and have something else. So like I'll have yogurt, I'll have um, nuts or beans or things like that to just try and get my protein in. So same thing here. But disclaimer, I like adding the chia seeds in in my actual smoothie cup and not in the blender because as you know chia seeds are water soluble so they kind of swell up and get kind of mushy gushy a little bit it's nothing crazy that you'll notice in the smoothie because it's already so wet but let me tell you it's a pain <laughs> in the butt to clean it off of here it gets like really annoying you really gotta just scrub it off and i have a hand scrubber so then all the little black dots it looks like a bunch of poppy seeds are in my scrub brush and it's just like I'd rather just have it in my smoothie and don't even have to worry about it. Now to the Greek yogurt by my own heart. <laughs> so Greek yogurt. So what's the difference of Greek yogurt and a normal yogurt? So Greek yogurt is strained. So they add an extra step to their process. So when they do this, this makes it so that the um, water, lactose, and minerals aren't draining out of it. So a lot of times you'll notice in most yogurts, um, you open it up and there's just like literally a glob of water or liquid, whatever it is, right on top. And if you're like me or most people that I know, the first thing you do is like, and you dump that. Whereas that's really all like your nutrients and everything. That's what you want in your yogurt. So some people kind of get grossed out with like mixing it in and like they don't not really sure what it is But with Greek yogurt, there's nothing. It's just solid. There's no liquidies like dripping oop, Dripping all over the place <laughs> One little drop compared to like a normal yogurt. So that's That's that if you are lactose intolerant I'm not saying you should go and just have a bunch of yogurt, but the acidity that is found in Greek yogurt does make it easier for you to absorb other nutrients and it's easier for you to digest because of the bacterial breakdown that's in milk sugars. So of course yogurt is also a probiotic so it'll keep you regular. And the healthy bacteria that's found in the Greek yogurt is going to help to boost your immune system too. So that's always a plus. And once again protein everybody loves protein so this is also a good um alternative for you too if you don't have meats all the time and you're looking for another way to get protein you need protein in your life no matter where you get it from so what protein does it's going to build your bones muscles cartilage um, skin hair blood energy everything you need protein your body needs it also your immune system again and um i like to typically i'll drink these smoothies after a workout to help build and repair my muscles afterwards so maybe i'm not a sore it just helps all together but you can use this as a breakfast smoothie right when you get up it doesn't really matter i just typically tend to do that and um it also helps to keep me full after I work out just like something that's light and not like super heavy on my stomach I'm getting all my protein my nutrients and I'm um, an easy little smoothie and it helps keep me full until dinner time so I'm not snacking on things I really shouldn't be snacking on so add that by the way TJ Maxx is a lifesaver these mini spatulas Obsessed. It literally lets me get like every last drop of everything. So don't forget we have our chia seeds too, but I just like to add them in after, like I said. So the fun part. Okay. We're done. Literally as simple as that. This would probably take me less than five minutes but because i was talking through it and everything like it's gonna take me a little longer okay so, 
sorry took me a second to pick a cup because all they have here at uh, my fiance's house are Mets cups and I refuse to drink out of a Mets cup because I'm a Yankee fan so it smells so good so here we have our consistency nothing really too watery I'll show you as I pour it out you'll see it's pretty thick but not like chunky or like chunks of ice or like something like that but it's really smooth but thick so this technically makes two smoothies but you know I'm gonna drink the whole thing <laughs> um, okay. and I will make sure that I add to the description below the recipe all of the nutrition facts so you can see everything if um you want to just look back and not watch the whole video and just find that I'll have that for you now I'm going to pick a smoothie straw so I get all my straws my metal ones my smoothie ones silicone from TJ Maxx because they're the best so now this is where I add my chia seeds just so I don't like I said get that whole cup dirty and then have to clean the whole thing I'd rather just this it's way easier to clean and I end up drinking most of it because it's not getting blended around in that thing and all the blades and everything so I just mix this around now the longer the chia seeds sit in here the more uh, swollen I guess you can say they're gonna get because it's the more water they're sitting in but, like if you drink it right now it's literally gonna be like little poppy seeds you don't it's hard to explain like it's you can't really tell the difference too much but I just like it for the added benefits of all those nutrients and protein but let's give it a taste so good my favorite okay guys well I hope you like this video when you try this recipe please let me know in the comments below let me know send me a picture what you thought anything and um like i said i'll make sure to add in the description box the actual recipe any tips or anything that i used here if you want to know um and all the nutrient facts so thank you guys so much for watching make sure to um like subscribe and hit that little bell on this video so you don't miss another one of my videos okay thanks guys